guys this is Justin from myroundrobin.com here to give you a quick tutorial on if this then that dot com I F T T T dot com it's based on the programming structure if this happens then do this so what this will do for you is take your blog RSS feed and every time you make a blog post which is great for sharing your content and really driving visitors to your blog we will take that post and automatically post it to your Facebook and your Twitter account it's just one less thing you have to worry about and it's really good to uh, blast out your blog posts to Facebook and Twitter so your first step is to go to ifttt.com it'll come right here you can go through their little tour if you'd like what we do now is just join so we're gonna make a new account I have an old one in there let me take that out and what I do you can just create a username this could be anything you want we'll call it you know I'm just gonna put my name in here in case there's already a Justin Murray I just added a couple digits and then you wanna put in an email that you actually check on a regular basis or link it into your business email because if this then that will actually alert you every time that it successfully completes a task it will tell you if your automated postings do not occur which is very important if you're not they're not happening you want to go in and figure out exactly what's going wrong with the system whether it's your Facebook changed or your Twitter changed or if there's a problem with if this then that dot com which I haven't seen yet it's a very well bit built website so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna put in an email and you want to put in a secure password so I'm doing that now uppercase lowercase you want some special characters in there and make it over seven at least at least seven characters go ahead and create your account oh I already used that email we'll use a different round robin in here one thing they make you use a unique game email you can not open out separate accounts with the same email okay so we'll do it that way create our if this then that dot com account they welcome you and you get all these different you know they kinda explain what it is they give you the channels they work with some of the examples explain it a little bit further show you what a recipe is you can go into all this and create your own recipes if you like just be very cautious in the uh, connections you create um, I have some instance, instances where you know somebody went and tried to set up their blog post RSS going to your their Facebook and then their Facebook going to your Twitter but then that actually just took two links uh, the, what ended up on Twitter was two links next to each other the blog post link and the Facebook link and Twitter use a URL shortener so you just had two links next to each other and that doesn't make any sense to anybody they don't know what to click on they don't know which link is which it's very confusing so you want to be very cautious in setting it up what you can do that we did for you is you can just browse and if you browse here you can search and if you do my RR it will come up with the two or I'm sorry the three uh, my round robin available options here so what you can do is you can either do the blog RSS to LinkedIn unfortunately this only goes to LinkedIn personal accounts LinkedIn does not allow you to post autom automatically post RSS blog feeds to a LinkedIn company page only a personal so if you have a LinkedIn personal you feel comfortable with blasting out your company RSS on then you can use this one right now we'll just set we'll set up this one it's a blog RSS to Facebook so if you go here you can see every new feed item every new RSS feed item create a link post in your Facebook page okay and what you want to do is go here or I'm sorry the first step is to activate your Facebook pages channel so you would want to go in and let's see I'll just use let's see here if I can get into my Facebook here G. 
just having a trouble time, trouble time, trouble time here trying to get into Facebook. There we go. Okay, so you can actually choose if you have multiple business pages. I have a lot. I manage a lot of people's social media. I've set up some customers already. Um, when we go through beta testing, and some of them are my own. So you can choose your pages here. I'll choose a pizzeria I used to manage. Okay. This pizzeria doesn't exist anymore. This is an example. Okay, so now I activated my Facebook page channel. Done. Okay, and then down here, you'll see it's still the My Round Robin feed, and we don't want that anymore. Let's say um, this pizzeria, their domain was pizzeriaworld.com backslash feed. So your RSS feed URL would go right here. And if you're not sure of your RSS feed URL, just send us an email at support at myroundrobin.com and we'll help you out with locating that. So you put in your website feed URL and what it will do is create a link post. It puts a entry, uh, the link, the blog entry URL here, your blog title here, and then you just click use recipe. And they didn't like it because this isn't an actual feed. If I were to actually use, let's say, my round robin, they'd accept that. Okay. And now every time I do a my round robin feed, it's going to link to that pizzeria Facebook page, which doesn't exist anymore. So you can see how it's that, it's that easy to go and set it up. And then when you want to go and do your Twitter one, you just go here and you search my RR. And you can pick out the Twitter one and do the exact same thing as you did on the Facebook page. And as a bonus here, you can also do this. What this is, is um, if someone follows me on Twitter, follow them back automatically. And this is super easy. As long as you're, lo you're already activated with your Twitter channel, it will automatically follow everybody who follows you on Twitter. It's a really cool little extra and it takes care of a little bit of the Twitter maintenance. Okay, that's it for If This and That. I hope you guys have fun with it. You know, look around a little bit, see the recipes you can create. Just be very cautious in how you create them because you don't want to flood out your social media with, you know, really bad link patterns or anything, you know, that you don't want your public, your, your market to see. All right, thank you very much and take care. Bye.